great. So today we'll keep on working on the same topics that we were working in our, in our last lesson. <clears throat> so it's about you too. So let's check. Let's go on then with the exercises that we didn't do. So I want you to tell me, so write sentences. I want you to translate these instructions. So write sentences about yourself, like the examples. How would you translate that in Spanish? Sí. Um, escribas. Escribe. Escribe canciones sobre te. Oh. Oraciones. Oración, or, oraciones sobre te como el ejemplos. Eh, como like this, como los ejemplos. Como los ejemplos. Los ejemplos. Now, remember that oración is either a sentence or a prayer, right? Oración, sí. And what you said was songs, canciones. Oh, sí. Okay. Uh, so the next one. Um, so begin, I used to, blah, blah, blah. Empezas, soli, yo solía. We would say like begin with, empieza con, yo empieza solía. con, yo solía. Yes, okay. So let's translate the example. So I used to live in a small village. Sí. Um, is village is como un pueblo o no? Villa. Villa. Sí. Yeah. So I used to live in a small village. Solía vivir mm -hmm. en una villa pequeño. Pequeña, because it's pequeño. feminine. Mm -hmm. pero, but now I live in London. Pero ahora. Vivo in Londres. Pero ahora vivo in Londres. Good. I used to play tennis a lot. Uh, solía jugar ten tenis mucho, mm -hmm. pero no jugo nada. Pero no juego. Juego. Ya. We would say, pero ya no juego. Pero ya no juego. Pero ya. Pero ya juego. Ya no juego. No, so, wait. ya would be like anymore. Sí. So, pero ya no juego. Go ahead, pronunciation. Pero ya no llego. Juego. Juego. Juego, yeah, I play, right? Um, so, your example. I used to what? Well, sí. Uh, solía correr afuera mucho. Pero uh -huh. ahora no correr ya. Pero ya no, pero ya no corro. Pero ya no corro. Okay, uh, another one. Sí. Um, yo solía trabajar con mis amigos. Uh -huh. Pero ahora... No trabajo. What? Con mis amigos. Con ellos. No trabajo con, con ellos. Sí. With them. Ellos. Okay. And another one? Sí, sí. Um, solía manejar. Uh, muy rápido. Uh -huh. Solía pero, manejar muy rápido. Pero ahora yo manejo normal. Pero ahora manejo. Eh, I would say, I mean, like, that's good, but I think it would be better to say, like, but now I drive maybe more carefully. Más, con, con más ciudades. Con más cuidado. Curares. Cuidado. Cuidado, like this. Cuidado, cuidado. Yeah, yeah like with more care. <laughs> okay, so the next one is, uh, now begin with, I didn't use to. So it's negative. So the only sí, thing sí. that's going to change in Spanish is, no, yo no solía, blah, blah, blah. 
So let's translate the example. I didn't used to read a lot, but I do now. Okay. Uh, no, so, no solía liar mucho, pero ahora... Lo hago. Lo hago. Lo hago. As in, but I do it now. Sí. And another one. I didn't use to what? Uh, no solía... No solía How do you say I me used to to muy temprano, pero ahora okay. lo hago. So repeat after me. No solía No solía levantarme levantarme temprano temprano pero ya lo hago. Pero ya lo hago. Yeah, and how do you say, I didn't used to have a pet, but now I do. Okay. No solía tener un mascota. Una, una mascota. Una mascota. Yep. Pero ahora tengo mascota. Tengo ya. Uh, we would no say, tengo. pero ahora sí. Like, but, pero ahora sí. Pero ahora sí. Ahora sí. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's have a look at the next topic. Um, so present, I am doing, I do, or future. Okay, so this is another topic. Let's just do some vocabulary with uh, the one that I was showing you the other day, and let's try to use the same structure, the structure of used to, with this vocabulary okay, that see, see, see. you're familiar with, sort of. So how do you say, I, li I used to listen, I didn't used to listen to reggaeton, but now I love it. Okay, sí, sí. Es verdad también. Uh, no solía oír con reggaeton. Oír reggaeton. Uh -huh. Pero ahora yeah. lo encanta. Me encanta. Me encanta. Okay, good. <laughs> so the next one, let's see. Um, Risa, risa. Do you know what risa is? No, no. ¿Cómo es risa en inglés? It's uh, the noun laugh, but as a noun. Ah, sí, sí. Like your laugh, like, like, um, the laugh let's was say, loud. yeah, the laugh was loud. How would you say that? Um, it's funny. La, la mm -hmm. risa fue más ruido. Era ruidosa. Ruidosa. Fuera fuerte. Yeah, ruidosa o fuerte. La risa era ruidosa o fuerte. Eh, la siguiente. Yo. No. Depender. Ok. So, the I used to. What do you say in English? Like, I used to depend on my parents and now I don't. Sí, sí, sí. Solía so, depender uh, en mis padres, de mis padres. Yeah, but now pero, I don't. Pero ahora, pero ya uh, no depende. Oh, pero no. ya no. Pero ya no. Once again, solía depender de mis padres, pero ya no. Solía depender de mis padres, pero ya no. Good. Um, ok, depender. So remember, in Spanish is depend of, not on, in Spanish. Sí, sí. Ok, uh, do you know what a camión is? No. Camión. A uh, camión is a, how do you call like the big trucks, like six wheel trucks? Or... Oh, like uh, the ones that like move freight? Yeah. Uh, like. Uh... Would you just call that a truck or? Yeah, something? yeah, like. Yeah, a big truck. <laughs> a big truck, okay, big truck. So, um, how would you say? Um, I didn't used to drive a truck, a big truck, but now I do. Sí, uh, 
no solía manejar un camión. Pero ahora ya. Yeah. Pero ahora sí. Sí. Y dame un otro... Um, dame un otro... ¿Cómo se dice? Like an, another way to say drive. Manejar y... Conducir. Conducir, sí, sí. Conducir. Yeah. conducir. If it's a motorcycle or something where you've got that, like, kind of that position, like a horse or like a bike or like a donkey, like you, you kind of have it in between your legs. Sí, sí. Then, then it's montar. Montar, sí, sí. Okay. So the next one is, let's see. Total. <laughs> eh, repetir. So, I want you to tell me a sentence with this one. We repetir. Repetir is to repeat, no? Yep. Okay. Um, sí. Um, solía. I used to. Solía repetir mi maestro. Después de mi maestro, like after my teacher. Después mi maestro. O profesor. Profesor. Pero ahora. How do you say, but I got rid of him. Oh, no, uh, no sé. Pero me deshice de él. <laughs> okay. So I was going to say, said, pero ahora yo hablo español. Okay, okay, you could say that. <laughs> Deshacerse de is to get rid of. Okay. Sí. Um, so the next one, let's see. Um, probable, I mean, that's easy. Sí. Uh, par, do you know what par is? Is four. No, it's... No? It's a pair, as in it's like a pair of trousers or a pair of shoes. Ah, oh, sí, sí, cars. sí. Okay, so I want you to tell me a sentence with that one. Sí, sí. Um, uh, sí. Uh, solía tener, I used to have, mm -hmm. un par A pair of boots. How do you say boots? Botas. Un par de botas. De botas. A pair of boots. A pair, a pair of leather boots. Uh, sí, sí, sí. Solía tener un par de botas de... ¿Cómo se dice leather? De cuero. De cuero. Pero ahora no... No, ya... Yeah. Pero ya no las tengo. Las tengo. Like, but I haven't got them anymore. Okay? Sí, sí. Okay, um, the next one. Uh, perro. Yo, yo sabe. You know, bien. you know, when, 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 when people call, especially, well, it depends on the context, of course, but, but if a group of women are talking about, about, Guys who are players in sí. Spanish, we don't call them players, they call them dogs, perros. Ah, okay. sí, sí. Es muy diferente de aquí. Yeah, I mean, like, what other word would you use in the States for a player? Like, I know player, but I don't uh, know any I, other. I mean, I think women would call them dogs, but men call women bitches here. <laughs> yeah. It's like, and that really means like a girl dog. Okay, okay. We, we would also call them like that. Like, that so, would also work here. But would you call them like perras? Yeah, yeah, we would call them perras. Yeah, like like bitches, pretty much. It's just as offensive. Sí, sí, me gusta. Okay, <laughs> me gusta. <laughs> okay. Um, no, 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 it's better that. <laughs> Did Alice don't listen to you? <laughs> sí. <laughs> She's like, what did you just say? What did you just say? <laughs> you might as well leave. 
Sí, so, sí. Um, Mita, do you know what Mita is? Mita, no. It can be like like half, like um, like the middle of something. Oh, okay, sí, sí, sí. Mm. So yeah, like tell me a sentence and I'll help you out. Uh, um, sí. How do you say in the middle of the match, the, it started raining? Sí. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? What's the word one more time? Mitad. 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 Middle half. Sí, so sí. In the middle of the match, it started. In la, right. in la mitad de la. Cuerpo. Del partido. De the match. Partido. As in like a soccer match, or like a tennis sí, sí, sí. match, or... Boxing match. Uh-huh. What do you say, oh. boxing match? Okay. Sí, sí. Okay, in la mitad del partido, it started raining. Um, ¿Lo hace lluvia? Empezó. So remember that when we're using a sentence that, that, that includes the it pronoun, then you just start from the conjugation of it in Spanish. Oh, sí, sí, sí. So, empezó. empezó a llover. Llover. Once again, en la mitad del partido empezó a llover. En la mitad del partido empezó a llover. Good. Um, the next one. Sí. Uh, la licenciatura. Hmm. La li licenciatura is like, <clears throat> we say licenciatura, at least here in Colombia, when we're speaking like, a, like a, some sort of a teaching degree. Ah, oh, like a licensing. Licensing? How do you, how do you, how do, can you send it to me? Sí, sí, sí. Es como, y my teacher license or certification. Um, yeah, I mean, like, it's still a bachelor's degree. It's just the way it's called. No, no, tengo una otra cosa de, uh, the, the degree. The degree? Like, what? Like we have to have a licenses too, like. Okay. Because I mean, like, as I'm telling you, like this is just how it is called, but pretty much it's just a bachelor's degree regarding teaching something, teachers' licenses. But it's a bachelor's degree. That like like licenciatura in Spanish is just a bachelor's degree. So is it the same? And. Um, Eh, sí, es diferente. Like, it's the so, same, but like, here, you actually get two pieces of paper. You get the bachelor's degree and the licenses? Yep. Okay, well, here I think it's just a bachelor's degree, as far as I know, at least. Bueno. Uh, so, yeah, so, um, like, how do you say I haven't got a uh, a teaching degree. I don't know. I don't know. No tengo una licenciatura. Una licenciatura. Una licenciatura. No tengo una licenciatura. That's it. <laughs> okay. Sí. Hold up. This rotated. Um, ah, sí, sí. Okay, so the next one is the next one. Let me just turn this off. Um, molecular. I mean, how many times do we use that word? But I mean, it's very intuitive. It's molecule. Molecule. So, sí. Yeah. Molecule. Whatever. Proporcionar. Would you? Would it, do you know what this is? No. It's like to. It's like provide. Oh, like oh. like the company. I I don't know if you'd say that in English. Like no no no. La compañía. Provide me the uniforms. I mean, like, Propasinar uh, mi insurance. So, uh, How would you say in, in, in English? Like the company, the company provide... provided us with insurance or the company provided us with. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So for example, that, that, that sentence. La compañía, La compañía nos proporcionó, proporcionó una... Un seguro, an insurance, un seguro. Un seguro, sí. 
Once again, la compañía nos proporcionó un seguro. La, compañ la compañía nos proporcionó un seguro. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's, it's kind of a formal sort of verb that it's, yeah, it's used like in serious context or job, sí, sí. professional context. Um, dama. Dama. No. Dama? Yeah, dama. Damas y caballeros. Caballeros, este es el señor Smith. What do you understand? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Yeah. Smith. Exactly. So go ahead, pronunciation. Damas y caballeros, este es el señor Smith. Damas y caballeros, este es el señor Smith. Now, a caballero is also a knight, as in like a, like a warrior. Sí, sí, or like a, a royal knight. Exactly, yeah, that's a caballero as well. Um, ¿Cómo se dice? A horse is not a caballero, it's a... Uh, caballo. 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 And how do you say onion? Oh, cebollo. Cebolla. Caballo, cebolla. And there's another one. Caballo, cebolla, and... Um, I forgot. Okay, Caballero. never mind. Caballero. That's another one. But I know there's another one that is similar. Cebolla, caballo, and um, ah, I just don't remember it. Okay, never mind. Uh, the next one is años. You know that. Hombre. You know that. Ah, uh -huh. you know that. This is something that 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 I find interesting that we use here in Colombia. Now, I mean, that's how I speak, and that's how my friends speak. And most of people I know. So, Man. for example, yeah, yeah, exactly. What if 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 you if you ask me in Spanish, who's that man? How would you ask? How would you say it in Spanish? Uh, ¿Quién es el hombre? ¿Quién es ese man? Es, ese man, sí. We would say that. Like now. If you if you're speaking about an old man, like hey, who's that old man? You would say quien es ese viejito, like who's that little old man? Sí, viejito. Okay, viejito, viejito. Viejito. Yeah. Now, if we're speaking about any woman, like okay, like this is a very personal opinion. From this is how I use it at least. From zero to ten, it's a kid, it's a girl, in my opinion. From ten. To to sixteen, eighteen, I would call her like a pelada. 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 Yeah, like ten to sixteen, more or less. And then from sixteen on, it's an old woman for me. Okay, that's that's how we call them in Spanish. Okay, so if you were to ask, uh, who's that? Let's say it's seventeen. Like who's that? Girl, I mean, I guess how that's how you would call her. ¿Quién es ese via, viejito? ¿Quién es esa vieja? Vieja. ¿Quién es esa vieja? Like, who's that old woman? But, I mean, like, from 16 on, it's an old woman. That, that's a Colombian thing, though. Um, I don't know how it is in other countries, but that's how it is in, in Colombia. Okay? Lara. Okay. Yeah. And you never okay. use mujer? No, it's very weird. Like only in, like in posts at the hospital or something, but not actually something that people say. Like, ah, uh, sí, sí. I mean, that, as I'm telling you, like that's how I say it, and like most of people I know say. It. Okay. Well, no. So, uh, now if you actually mean an old woman, you would call her a little old woman, which would be. Like, who's that old woman? But you actually mean an old woman. And you would say, ¿Quién es esa viejita? Viejita. Okay. Yeah. So again, that's a Colombian thing. <laughs> sí, sí. Uh, let's go. Let's uh, do the next one. Vino. Do you know what vino is? Wine, sí. Wine. Yep. Eh, palabra. Es uh, como un uh, word. A word, yeah. Um, the next one, corbata. Corbata. 
Is that like a, a tie? Yep, it's a tie. So, corbata. So, how do you say, I uh, used to wear a tie, but I got tired of them. Uh, so, Leah, I used to, como se dice to wear, es no pondría. Es, uh, usar. Usar un carborta, un corbata. Let's say I used to, I used to wear ties in general, corbatas. Sí. Corbatas. Yep. But I got tired of them. Pero. Pero. Pero tu. Oh my God. Pero tuvo. Pero canse de ellas. Me canse. So to get tired. Is cansarse, is reflexive. Sí. So go me ahead, pronunciation. Solía usar cu corbatas, pero me cansé de ellas. Good. Ellas. Remember that double L and Y here ellas. in Colombia is like ellas. a J in English. Sí. Medellín, ellas. Ellas, exactly. J Bobby. <laughs> sí, J Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mate, so uh, we're done for today. Can you still okay. recording for a bit, please? Sí, sí, um, sí. Thanks. So did you, no, it's